Hi. So in this question, we have been given four distance time graph of four different cars and we have to find out which car is moving uh, with fastest speed, highest speed and which car is moving with slowing, slowest speed. So basically, we'll have to arrange these four cars in order of their speeds. So from a distance time graph, how do we figure out what's the velocity? What is the indication of velocity or what is the method to find out velocity from a distance time graph now uh, it's distance time graph given so uh, uh, in a distance time graph we can find out the speed and not the velocity for a velocity time graph we have to have displacement time graph so let's see so this is my distance time graph so here is distance in meters and here is time in seconds so if there is a straight line straight line okay so the how do i find out the velocity so velocity of velocity velocity or rather velocity will be a wrong term to use here why because it's a speed time graph uh, sorry a distance time graph so speed is given by is given by speed in a in a distance distance time distance time graph distance time graph is given by the slope slope of the graph so what is meant by slope so let's say uh, the slope of this line or graph in this case will be nothing but you take any two points on the on the graph let's say this is point a this is point b so what you do is you drop perpendiculars to both the axis from these two points okay so these are the let's say these are the perpendiculars on okay so so slope of slope of uh, the curve is given by this length vertical length of the triangle let's say this is y and this horizontal length x so slope let me change the color slope slope is given by delta s upon delta t in this case delta s this is delta s why is delta s why because this is s2 if this is s2 and this is s1 so delta s is nothing but s2 minus s1 divided by t2 minus t1 so slope now this slope is also equal to average speed now in in case of a uniform speed motion average speed is equal to instantaneous speed so throughout the motion the average other uh, speed speed is same as the average speed so it is a uniform uh, motion now so basically now the slope when the slope gives speed higher the slope higher the slope of st graph higher would be higher would be the speed so clearly in this case if you see slope of c is highest so in this case slope slope of we can clearly see that slope of of c is greater than slope of d which is greater than slope of a which is greater than slope of b why is slope of c greater than slope of d why because the inclination if you see c's c's graph is steeper than that of d's again d's graph is steeper than that of a's and a's graph is steeper than that of b so hence c will be having the highest slope so highest slope means highest speed so the speed will be also speeds of all these four cars will be on in the order c greater than d greater than a greater than b this is the order of speeds of these four cars 
so clearly car a is faster than d is ruled out why because d is faster than a car b is the slowest yes car d is faster than car c no why because d is having lesser slope than that of c and car c is the slowest is wrong because c is moving with the fastest speed so answer b is correct